Dear friends, first of all, I want to thank you for your extensive feedback uh, on my various videos. I'm so happy to see how many people like it, share it, and also give their valuable comments. I've made a lot of videos about complications of diabetes, about eye, kidney, nerves, feet, and so on. But the most popular response I get is from the diabetic neuropathy. People want to know more and more about neuropathy and not surprisingly because neuropathy is one of the most common complications of diabetes. So I have spoken about it earlier but you all wanted to know more about the treatment, what should be done for neuropathy. First of all for those who have not watched my earlier video I'll just give you a quick recap. Diabetic neuropathy means affection of the nerves due to diabetes. Usually it's in the feet. Of course, it can come in the hands, it can come in the trunk, in your chest, anywhere. It can come in the face. You can get a single nerve getting involved, you can get a paralysis of one of the movement of the eye. All kinds of neuropathic problems come. I'm not going to go into that now. And let me talk about the common peripheral neuropathy. When you have that, what happens is that you have numbness of the feet. That's one of the types of neuropathy. We call it a sensory neuropathy. There is absence of sensation. In the initial stages, you'll be able to feel something under your feet. Later on, the complete sensation goes off. It'll be like a log of wood, as if your foot is a, like a log of wood, which you're just carrying about. And you are it's not even connected to the body. It becomes like that. We call it as the insensate foot. Now, in an insensate foot, what happens is it's prone to injury. Because you don't know. Normally, there's a reflex action. You find something hot, you're walking, you'll Ow. run or you'll take away your leg or you won't walk there. If you have insensate foot, you'll continue to walk until the, the foot is completely burnt. It can be called as a thermal injury. Similarly, chemical injury. Or you may go and hit it somewhere. Trauma. You go and hit it somewhere. Normally, you'll cry in pain and you'll take it off. Here, you won't know at all. You'll be bleeding, you'll not know at all. So, one form of neuropathy is where you lose sensation. But that's not the only form of uh, symptoms that you get. Sometimes you can get burning feet. It will be just burning as if it's on fire. You know, this is a very common thing. People say, I can't sleep at night. My feet are as if they are on fire. So that is one. Third is shooting pain. It will just shoot down as if an electric shock is going down your leg. Some of the symptoms which people say is, my chappals fell off and I didn't even know about it. That is something people say. There are others will tell me, when I'm walking, I'm walking on hard ground, but it looks as if I'm walking on a mattress. I don't feel it at all because it is completely numb. So that's another kind of symptom. The worst is pain. Pain which is so intolerable that I found people saying, I feel like committing suicide. You know, so much pain, doctor, how long I can suffer? How many days, weeks, months? Uh, I felt like, in fact, there was, I'll tell you a story also. There was a doctor who came to me from Malaysia. And in one of my videos, I had said that some of these neuropathies can take two years. And then it will go away, I told him. This man, before he saw this video, had got so upset that from his 14th floor, he even attempted to jump off and kill himself because he just could not bear the pain. Luckily, those windows were fixed, so he could not do anything. Then what happened, as luck would have it, a week later he saw one of my videos, where I had said some of these neuropathies can last up to two years, but after that it will go away. So that gave him hope. Oh, after two years it will go away, so I'll wait. So he waited, waited. After two years, some of that neuropathy went off. He brought a big gift for me from Malaysia. And he said, Doc, Today I am alive because I saw your video. And in that you said, after two years it will go away. So I said, okay, two years somehow I will hold on. Then it will go away. And then it went away. I never knew that some of the neuropathies can last so long. And then spontaneously it can go away. So don't worry, neuropathy is treatable. Whether it is pain or numbness or whatever, it is all treatable. How do you treat the neuropathy is a question people ask me. First and foremost, 
We have to control the diabetes. This is a diabetic neuropathy. How can you have uncontrolled diabetes and then take 10 medicines for the neuropathy? It's not going to help you. So first, get your sugar under good control. Okay? Number two, look after your feet. Because you don't wear proper footwear and you are going to go and uh, you know, uh, walk on something or walk where some place where thorns are there or nail is there or something, you are going to injure your feet and you may not even know and can get infected. So look after your feet, wear uh, footwear always, don't walk barefoot. Number three, if it is numbness, then there are some medicines for that. There is alpha lipoic acid, there is gamma linolenic acid, there is uh, vitamin B12, methicobalamin and many other medicines are there which can help to improve the neuropathy. There is sorbitol and alpha with this, aldose reductase inhibitors. There are so many medicines which we use. None of them are totally specific for neuropathy and the effect is varied. For some people it works very well, for some it doesn't work very well, but there are medicines. And we will, once you come to us, we will tell you what medicines to take. For pain, there are a number of other uh, medicines which we give for burning, for pain. There is gabapentin, there is pregabalin and various other duloxetine. There are very uh, many drugs which are used. These are to be used only for a short period, maybe for a month, two months, three months. After that, after it goes away, you can stop the medicines and just continue with the diabetic control. So, whatever type of neuropathy you have, there is specific treatment for that particular neuropathy. There are specific drugs which can be used apart from supportive treatment. Sometimes if you correct the vitamin D deficiency or vitamin E deficiency and so on, these may disappear. But over and above everything else, good control of diabetes is very important. Sometimes using insulin for a few days also helps because insulin has a growth promoting activity. So it can help the nerves which are damaged to reconnect. The reformation of the nerves can happen due to insulin. With the tablets, the sugars come down. It doesn't have this growth promoting activity. It doesn't have that hormonal effect which insulin has. So sometimes your doctor tells you for a short course, one month, two months, till your neuropathy goes away. This will also ensure that you have good control of diabetes. Now, if you have complications of diabetes like neuropathy, it is useful to check your blood sugar several times a day to see whether it's under control. Now, if you have to check your blood sugar several times a day, you have to have a glucose meter and you have to poke yourself so many times. It is quite painful. It's also quite expensive. So, today, we have continuous glucose monitoring systems. We just have to put a small patch. And with that patch, you will get about 100 blood sugars in a day. You can find out your blood sugar before food, after food, in between, when you're sleeping, morning, afternoon, evening, night. Everything automatically, it is recorded in that sensor. And you can get a printout. Now, the important thing is, there is something called as time in range. The sugar should not go below 70. It should not go above 180 or even above 160. So that is called time in range. If you're able to keep 70, 80, 90% of the day, the sugars under that particular control or time and range, as we call it. It's like the HbA1c test. You know about the HbA1c test, three months average test. There, it should be below seven or even below 6.5 if you want neuropathy and all that to improve. Apart from the fasting blood sugar, post blood sugar and the HbA1c test, if you put this patch, the continuous glucose monitoring or the CGM, as we call it, we call it as the ambulatory glucose profile or AGP. In that, if the time in range is also kept above 70, preferably near 100, even 80, 90% if you can get it, then you'll get a quick recovery from a neuropathic symptoms. So don't worry about neuropathy. Don't get depressed about neuropathy. Don't be like that person from Malaysia who got depressed until he saw this video. So remember that all forms of neuropathy are treatable. And if you need any help, you can always contact us and we'll be happy to help you regarding your neuropathy. So all the very best to you.